Now, I'm sure that if you frequent Instagram and you're on Instagram, you have seen this video and this effect. It's pretty cool. You know, the AI type earth zoom, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. And the best part is it's extremely easy to replicate. This is how you do the earth zoom effect. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So here we go. We've got our timeline and we've got our footage that we're going to use. Now, this is significantly easier to do on the PC than it is on CapCut and on the phone. And I'm going to show you how to do it in five minutes or less. So let's jump in. So here we go. We've got our first clip. Now, just to show you guys that you can do this with several clips, I'm going to establish somewhat of a proper timeline here. So we've got first clip, second clip, third clip. We need a screenshot of the initial clip here. So we're going to just render out a couple frames of the video. And of course, you want to do that in the timeline resolution. So we're going to do this. Beep, beep, poo, poo. There we go. Boom. Add that to the render queue. We're going to render that out. Now, the second thing that you need to do is open that video up. Uh, where did I save that? There it is. So we've got our video here. Of course, it's like two frames, so it's extremely short. You need to take that all the way to the beginning. Make sure you're at the very beginning, zero, 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 zero. Okay, next thing is next. Open up snipping tool. Knit it as close as possible to the end margins. And we've got our screenshot here. Now you're just going to go ahead and save it. And we're just going to go ahead and save it to the desktop. Close out of all that. And now you're going to head over to this website right here. Higgsfield AI. Here is the website. Of course, I'm going to include a link in the description below as well. And right here, the first one that, of course, this is the viral, you know, video. So it's trending and it's the first choice on the website. So we're going to click generate right here. Now, mind you, you've got to be pretty reserved with this because this is a paid service. So you can only get so many free generations here. And keep in mind that it's going to try and switch you to general here. I didn't realize that the first time that I tried to do this on the PC. So got to try it again. Make sure that you're on earth zoom out. That is where you're going to see it. Now we need to upload the screenshot right here. And it's effectively the exact same workflow doing it on your phone as it is your PC. So keep that in mind too, that whatever this is here can be replicated on the phone just as easy as basically exactly how we're doing it now. So here we go. We've got, we're going to turn enhance on. It's going to automatically generate a prompt. So you basically just leave this as it is and you click generate. Make sure your model is Higgsfield light as well. And then we just let that baby roll. We just let it roll. Now, don't worry. The first time I did this, I thought that it was going to take uh, almost an hour to generate this video. It only takes a couple minutes. So just keep that in mind. We're just going to let that roll. I'm going to go take a quick pee break, grab myself something to drink. So here we are with our finished video. Now, if you're on desktop, you're going to click download. And if you're on mobile, of course, you're going to find the download or save option. And we're just going to save it before even watching it because I know it did good enough. So there we are. There's our video. So now the next thing's next thing next, we need to head back over to our timeline and we need to input that clip. So there it is in our downloads. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to put this in front of it. And of course, you know, you can add a, your own flair to it. This is what the clip actually looks like. Pretty cool. That's pretty badass. Not going to lie. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to switch up the speed and we're going to kind of increase the speed just a little bit. It's a little, it's a little long. Okay. We could, you know, could speed ramp it, make it look cool. And I think that's what we're going to do after we reverse the direction, because obviously this is going in and look at just take a minute to look at the coloring that it did here. It matched the colors pretty damn well to the existing grade. So Let's take a look at our clip real quick. There we are. Boom. And it plays. Now, I did leave a little bit of a space there. My bad. We're going to watch it one more time, see what it looks like. Of course, you can, you know, mix in several different clips. You can do the zoom out, move 
the, the camera over to a new location, then it zooms in on a new car, new setting, etc. But just for the sake of today's video and keeping it short, I just wanted to showcase how you actually do this effect. So let's take a look at the completed video. There we go, guys. I hope that you did enjoy the video. And if you did, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if this doesn't work for you, if it works for you, if you think it's cool or whatnot. Let me know what you think. Leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you all in the next video.